Stav, Abby and Matt, the B105 Breakfast Show. Hello, podcasters. Hello. Hi. Great to have you company as always. We give away a big stack of cash on the show today. Do we normally play Alpha Bucks on the podcast? Hmm, uh, I think we do, especially if, if there's a winner. Mm. Oh, we, we'll we will be, if there's we'll a winner, yeah. Bad boy. If there's a winner, we definitely will. She mm. was amazing. She was great. Terrible phone. Hit See, I stand by it, though, that you'd freak out when you get W as your letter. But I think it's sometimes easier because you've got limited mm. choices. Mm. Mm. choices. I think her letter was F, though, wasn't it? No, it was W. Well, oh, was it? Well, maybe the second person today. The second was person was F. F. Yeah. Will I am, remember? Yeah. Correct. Mm. Correct, correct, correct. W for winner. W in the chats, boys. <laughs> FR, FR. What's that one? For real, for real. For real, for real. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, it was for Kip. <laughs> My son was trying to explain about his football game mm. and he tackled heaps and had a really good. And he goes, I just can't believe I sold out the front of the goal. So, sold? Yeah. Like sold out? Well, sold is like I failed. Failed, right. That's the word. So, if you're like, I'm selling, that means you're sucking. And if you sold, it just means you had a big fail. Right. And like, my parents are like, you what? <laughs> I sold. Yeah. He goes, what do you mean you sell? What do you do? That means suck. Right. Um, Xander's big thing, and uh, you would have heard it a lot, when you ask a question, instead of saying yes, he goes, bet. Yeah, uh, bet. Yeah, he's like, bet. <laughs> Are you ready for, you ready to go? He goes, bet. <laughs> right. Oh, I was, on what? what are the odds? I had to go <laughs> pick up a, a few kids from the school disco. And I was like, I don't call my own kids that. But I was like, oh, hey, sweetheart, can you just make sure you get your thing? He's like, would you call me? <laughs> I was like, oh. Oh, he didn't sweetheart. like he didn't like being called sweetheart. No. And I was like, "What a dip shit! Hurry up!" <laughs> yeah. I was Sorry, like, "All right, bra, go and get your stuff." Then he's like, "Oh, okay." Well, he didn't like it. No, I hated it. He was like, "Did you just call Boys. me? Would you call me?" I was like, oh, "I guess it's it's got a younger connotation to it. Maybe you wanted to be a bit more mm. older." So that's why I was like, "All right, get your stuff, bra. Let's go." Now, if a woman called me sweetheart, I'd be like, "Oh, mm. lovely." Mm. Yeah, it's all, all where you're at in the world, and they know, right? <laughs> where, I think it's more where you are with your age. Mm. Yeah. Um, all right. Stand by. Stand by because at the end, you can get uh, the answers to Alpha Bucks tomorrow. Here we go. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby, and Matt. B105's Alpha Bucks. Let's go! 20K in May. has got your money. Righty over has been, you know, we love giving out money. We're addicted to it. We are addicted. 20K in May. Double the chances. Seven and eight and double the money now. $20,000. Let's go. We're going to Hannah oh. in Rochdale. Yeah. Oh, you want to go to Disneyland in Japan? Ah, uh, Yes, the kids would love it. And, um, yeah, I, I know everyone's going to Japan at the moment. I know. Be the place to oh, be. Nice. Yeah. I've been copying because everyone that comes back says that it's absolutely amazing. So we've been looking. Apparently, December, January is great to go if you want to go skiing. You're like we should Bali, do a family run trip. To, run into all these Aussies when you're over there. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no, they, well, they've, they've, just, um, they've just got a new Disneyland place that's opened, I think, yeah. in June or something. Yeah. for opening it, so that'll be nice. Well. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> And they've got a new Godzilla park too, where you actually zip line into the open mouth of a full size Godzilla. Seriously? Uh, yeah. Wow, that is amazing. You go through the Godzilla body. Oh, wow. Come out his bum. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get you there. Um, great. You can come out Godzilla's bum. Hannah, here we go. W it's for better, wacky. It's better going in it, I uh, guess. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> is it? I mean, it's, you're both in it. Yeah, well. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, w for wacky is your. Let us say pass if you don't have an answer. We're going to take your first answer. Can't repeat any answer more than once. We're hoping you get the uh, the twenty grand, but just for getting through, you've got yourself a hundred dollars. Oh, woohoo! 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 Indeed, that also starts with W. All right, it's, your time will start when I finish the first question, which today is: name a breakfast food. With it. Name a TV show. Uh, Wednesday. Name a superhero. Wolverine. A confectionery item. With it. A Brisbane suburb. Windsor. An actress. Winner, Winona Ryder. <laughs> Something found in the kitchen. Whisk. An American state. Washington, D.C. Uh, sport. Uh, water polo. An R&B artist. Will, will I am. Oh, no way. No way. Was that it? Now, mm-hmm. just so everyone knows, listening, your phone did like a crackle a little here and there, but we are yeah. we do have an audio oh, person boy. who can go back and double check all of that. There's like 16 people. What was the one that you're concerned about? Uh, no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying there were yeah, crackles away. So you yeah. know when you're listening and they cut mm. out a little bit. 
Mm. So. Well, am I? That, well, am I? That was good. Yeah, it was good. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. You sound confident. You enough. did all the way through. Um, oh. And, and you know what? You know what May is, right? <laughs> it's twenty k May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's worth twenty grand. Mm. <laughs> oh my God, come on. I know, I'm so sorry. You've done it, Hannah. <laughs> You've just oh won twenty thousand dollars, Hannah. Oh, that's amazing. No, no. Oh my gosh, are your kids there at all? <laughs> Wake them up. I don't care. Wake them up and say you're going to Disneyland, Japan. <laughs> and, and getting a new phone too, hopefully. And he's like, "What?" We can't hear a single word no. you're saying, Hannah. I am so lucky you got through for Alpha Box to be able to play. But that is just came back. He just he didn't he just took his hand and was like, "What?" <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Speaking some sort of cartoon language. Oh my god! What you were, honestly? That was brilliant. What a time to win! Yeah. Oh, well, thank you guys. So, we've been trying every morning. I listen every morning, and um, yeah, no, I love listening to you guys. But even with this, gotta be me. <laughs> <laughs> that we heard. <laughs> wow. So, are, are the kids are the kids awake now? Um, no, they can't hold their taxes. How old are they? Um, I've got seven, five, and then two-year-old twins. Wow. wow. Oh, yeah, don't wake them up. No, oh, my God, I'm just impressed time. you can get them to sleep past 7 a.m. Yeah. Man, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, well done. Okay, wow. I'm going to call you. We're going to call you back later on when you've woken up okay. the kids, okay? Mm. Okay. All right, no problem. All, All right. right. <laughs> Hannah from Rochdale, you have wow. just won $20,000. <laughs> there we go. That's how it's done. And you know what? We do it again, baby. Eight o'clock. You want the answers for that game? There's three of those bad boys on the listener app right now. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Hit me with your mug shot. Mug shot. <laughs> or just hot. That's hot. That's hot. What are the rules for mug shots? Are you allowed to smile? I believe so. Because oh, is it the same as a passport? You know, let us smile because they measure the distance between your nose and your lips. No, I just think most people don't smile because it's not a happy time. I would smile. You would smile. Yeah, if it's going to make the rounds, I would want a good smile. And I'd be like, a, do you a mind? Revenge crime. I think you'd probably have a bit like, of a pep ah, in the step. Gotcha. I'd be like, do you mind putting a little bit of filter on? A little mm. bit of black and white for me. Make me look a little bit moody. And I'd smirk. I wouldn't smile. No. But this is where it comes about because uh, very famously, there's been hot shots. That, uh, hot shots. There's been mug shots that are hot. Yeah. So we have uh, some people, and you have to work out if this is their mug shot or their dating profile. Mm, okay. I think they, these are actual mug shots, No, though, they're not. Photos. Sorry. These, these are from dating profiles. Yeah. But you have to work out if they're the dating profiles of people that are in jail because they can go up on the dating yeah. websites mm. or whether they haven't been. Okay? So criminal or not. Do you want me to say it like that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I just think it's it's. we should explain that part because I think the, the white background with the black stripes makes it very easy to tell if it's a mug shot or not. You didn't want to seem too dumb? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. So Matthew, these... first up. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Matthew, I mean, obviously a criminal name. Right, yep. They do say that. Because uh, we're bad boys. Naughty boys. But he must be innocent because he's also an Aquarius. Oh, that's you. Yeah. All right, what do you think? <laughs> Well, give, give us a little bit of what he said on his profile, if, if he's looking for love locked up or on the outside. What's he said about himself? He's a 36-year-old. He's fun, loving, open-minded, spontaneous, down-to-earth type of guy who enjoys outdoor activities, such as hiking, snowboarding. He's a faithful man to the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, and he likes long walks on the beach. That's got to be a dating. You don't say that any other time apart from your dating profile. Yeah. I, I reckon he's he's inside. Why? Because of... I reckon he found the J-man you reckon? in prison. I reckon he was a bad boy. He's gone into the clink for uh-huh. bad stuff, and then he's found the light. Takes and now one to know one. Yes, he is. Uh. He forged a check to buy a 2013 Ram uh. pickup. I'd love well. to drive a Ram. See, yeah, what a That's good what bloke. you took out of the yeah. story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Amber? She's Aries. 
Uh-huh. She's 32 years of age. Yeah. She likes hobbies such as hiking, swimming, sand, volleyball, camping, reading, gardening, and she really likes the outdoors. She's also a type 2 wildland firefighter as well. How's wow. that? Okay. Yeah. Now, obviously, when they set, if these are the, in the prison dating profiles mm-hmm. where people can log on, yeah. um, someone must have to set them up for them outside. What do you mean? Well, they can't in prison. They wouldn't have access to any of in, those photos. In America, you mm. can have different rules depending on what you yeah, are in there yeah. for. In. Mm. So, some you can have access to the internet. Yeah. Well, she's pretty. Oh, these are all photos, Maddie. You, don't be an amateur. You don't use current photos for your dating website. No, I know. What I'm so, saying is, you're like, hey, mum, can you go into my phone for me and grab? They'd have access to their Facebook. Mm. Oh, I suppose. Yeah, mm. that's true. Well, they still have their. Some of them are allowed phones, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Well, not in prison. You got different privileges. Well, we spoke to someone in prison, remember, but he smuggled a phone. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to go out of a limb here. She is a criminal. Mm. She's in prison because she was a wildland firefighter. She was an arsonist. Oh, oh you think okay. one of those? Yeah. Um, no, I just think she is on the outside with crazy eyes. Oh, okay. Nope. She's in the she's in the jail. She's in the jail. What'd Robbery she do? attempt. She uh, shoplifted over eight hundred dollars worth of merchandise, and then she tried to exit. Security guard confronted her. She had a bit of a struggle and bit off the earlobe wow. of one of the security guards, removing at least a half an inch of the victim's earlobe. If you look really wow. closely to that tooth, front tooth on the left, there is a small chip in it. <laughs> Yeah. That's what you reckon. Ding. Well, biting, Ding. biting is just... Yeah. Next up, she's going to steal your heart. <laughs> <laughs> what about Mystique? Mystique. Mystique. She's 28 years of age. Oh, she looks like hot she's trash. She's a gem- Gemini, hot uh-huh. trash. And what's the hot trash? You don't like the eyeliner. Is that what you're going with here? It's the- she's got crazy eyes. Yeah. yeah. So what is the eyeliner? What's the, what's the limit for it when you've got the real heavy... Well, six litres is too much. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, she, she's, she's triple Av- Avril Lavigne. She writes mm. lyrics. Oh, does she? She has a passion for songwriting and hope to turn that into a career someday. Mm-hmm. She, she doesn't want no scrubs. Oh, she's in prison. No, nah, she's out, I reckon. You reckon? She has, has, has been, been caught yet. Or, uh, right. she's, she's out. <laughs> yeah. She's on the street? She is out, ah. yes. Ah. Never been to jail. Oh, yeah. Look at you guys. You really can't pick them, can you? We really can't. It's what gets right. us into Last trouble. one. We've got a fella now. Yeah. Is he inside? Or on the outside. I hope he's Justice. inside because his name's Justice. <laughs> Justice. <laughs> Spelt J U S T U S. Just us. Yeah. He makes uh, bearded artwork. He's a. What? 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 He makes designer Barbie purses, necklaces, earrings, mm. keychains, and more. Well, that's that's a prison hobby. If ever I've heard one. It is. Mm. He's dressed like he's been out riding a motorbike. Yeah, because he loves nature and the outdoors, especially beautiful beaches and freshwater springs. <laughs> he is into tattoos uh-huh. and he likes women with artwork. This helps his favourite authors are Michael Windsor, Brandon Sanderson and Rebecca Roanhorse. Never yeah. heard of any of them. Now he's absolutely in prison. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. Correct. Well done, hey. guys. Hey. Oh, poor what do you him. do? Uh, I think he had firearms. Was uh-huh. his? Oh, Why do all these outdoor nature lovers end up in prison? They always because that's what they're thinking of. Yeah, what would I like true, outdoors? Yeah. People on that yeah. are actually outdoors probably say, "I like quiet indoor reading." Yeah, <laughs> I like solo toilets. Yeah. <laughs> the B one hundred and five breakfast show with Stav, Abby, and Matt. You know what was fun um, last week? Mm. It was an epic long lunch. I'm going to have a little bit of a break from them. Just because I always said that I was having long lunches just to be able to fill our soul. Do you know, sometimes you just need to get away with the girls. Mm. And it was just everything that I asked for. And you know what I'm really upset about, though? It was such a nice group of girls that it was kind of like, you know, when you go to something really big, like a wedding or a hens. Yeah. And then you need a recovery party. Uh-huh. Because like I had to do day. the show. I didn't have a recovery party, so I didn't get to hug everyone goodbye no. or debrief. No. Yeah, yeah. So oh, you shame. mean like... Smooth things over. <laughs> <laughs> Apologise. No, no, no. Hey, I know what you mean. Look, there was there was a bus on the way home, and I had to go and do a, a safety driving course, so I wasn't able to take the bus on the way home. But the, it was such a big night, she ended up doing community service. But the bus had to pull over a few times on the way home. Oh, good gosh. Okay, question for this one, because you were saying all along it was a mother's get together. It was a mother's right? day, but they, yeah. Out of all of them that you've done, was this the most hectic? Was this the one that got out of control the most? No. It's a yes, no answer. No, because we're all, we didn't get, no. It wasn't, it wasn't completely out of control. I think this was a group that was ready to party. 
Oh, because, but was it the wildest? Is what because I'm saying. you guys set it up as oh, it's a bender, it's at the no, it's Gold Coast. So it's I feel fault. like you really set the we tone of the people that, that entered. Yeah. We never said <laughs> that. I just, I, I'm. Uh, Are you saying that sending Angry Ange, the HR manager? I like her. Was, but was it warranted? Hmm. Uh, was the B105 board's concerns warranted? Yes. Maybe I don't know. Yes. I'm a re- reformed. Is it reformed? I'm a reformed party girl. So God, I hate to see you when you weren't. <laughs> oh, no, you don't want to. <laughs> As in, you're... like, reformed from Saturday or? <laughs> no. Because you were talking big talk on Friday. You were real down on yourself and you're like, never again. And then the next thing I saw on Instagram was you at the tennis with Jin. Mm. <laughs> I was watching my son play and my friend Peter took um, a gin, just one, responsible, two, <laughs> <laughs> Responsible to watch. It is long, mate. Four I, hours of watching tennis. He just asked the questions. I that's all. Questions. Mm, mm. Yeah, you're on it. At what point when my son turned over and said, are you going to put down the drink and watch me? I was like, oi, four hours. I've been watching a lot. <laughs> but that's reformed. That's a new me. Monday, new me. Here we go. But this is the thing that I found really strange is that I went to the school disco. There was uh, a disco and I was dropping off the kids. And in the line, someone said to me, oh, I saw that there was entertainment. Did you have male strippers? I said, no, not male strippers. They're professional dancers. And a lot of the dads were like, oh, that's what we call it. They're all professional dancers. I was like, no, these guys are. They're from the Pink Flamingo. And we had dancers coming. Dance Academy. We had dancers (laughs) come out. I'm saying they are dancers. There's a difference. There's guys that can't dance and they just walk around like topless or strip. That's different. But I'm saying these were epic dancers. Mm, Okay. Okay. Mm. But they did take their top off, not their pants. Mm. You didn't have enough money on you? <laughs> yeah, they would have done it for free because they loved us so much. Isn't that what you guys say? Yeah. Hey, Jenny, though. Jenny was yeah. a bit... Uh, she was the only one who a daughter had brought along. Right. Yeah, I remember so them. A lot they of them were, had they were really sweet. Lovely, lovely. Mm. But she was a bit like, oh, no, you've got me in trouble about this. Oh. They're naked men, not naked, very sexually looking, handsome men. Uh, yeah, that was. Why did uh, you keep screaming, I'm going to get divorced, I'm going to get divorced? Because it's your fault. I'm going to blame you, Abby. Someone's going to get divorced, it's going to be me. Which one did you pick? Or which ones did you pick? All of them. <laughs> All of them. Oh my God, that's the best Mother's Day present I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> Bring it on, I want to do it again. Yay! Sounds like she had a debrief. <laughs> but when I was in the line to the disco, because we're all talking about it, they're like, "Did you uh, did you give Scott the heads up?" Mm. And I was like, "No, what, what? I don't understand. Scott wouldn't care." But I know him. Like, I guess yeah. we know our relationship, mm. so he wouldn't mind. But here's a question: So, should have I asked permission? Should have I given the heads up and said, "Hey, there's going to be male entertainment there. Is everyone okay with it?" Because if oh, you... should you have told the other girls that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that they could tell their partners, or is that just weird? In other words, if you were going somewhere and mm. there were female strippers, mm. would you tell your partner? Like, yes. would you have to say, hey, this is going to happen? Uh, yes. I, I would prefer to know and front that information. Because <clears throat> once I was trying to call Scott and I couldn't get hold of him, surprise, surprise, never can, he was out. And I was actually just driving past and he was like, I need you to pick me up on the way home. You know, one of those, I'm not going to have a big night, pick me up on the way home. Then I call him at midnight, no answer. Of course. And I then called his friends mm-hmm. and I was like, hey, where are you guys? And they're like, oh, Scotty just went to go and get a Euros. I'm like, okay. So why is he not answering? Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Eventually got through to Scott mm. and he was like, ah, we're at the strip joint. Mm. And I was like, but your mate said that you're getting Euros. He goes, I wasn't getting Euros. Yeah, but they weren't sure whether you'd like the That's what I mean. So they cover for him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I don't think anything, anyone was up. Set or got in trouble about it, did they? No, I didn't. No, she didn't. <laughs> Good. Okay. I then. think I think guys are probably <clears throat> more okay with it than women would be. They don't get completely nude. But they can if you, you can buy those ones still. Mm. Mm. These were dances. Like you can buy you can buy non completely nude women entertainers. Who has ever done that? And that's the attitude of the reason why we need to know if they're coming or not. See what I mean? Have you ever gone and had that, though? No, because that would be a waste of money. Uh, What I'm saying is is with the way you flicked there is exact reason why you need to ring your mates and go, heads up, this is going to come. Can you let your wife know so that you're not in trouble or it's not a big secret? I think it definitely comes down to the different relationships. Some people don't have a problem with it. Some people do. Oh, I just thought it was silly getting permission sleep slips. Hmm. Sleeps. I, you, that's different. We would have got permission for that, is what I meant. But no. yeah, do you believe mm. male entertainment 
is not the same as women Yeah, I do. I do. Because I've been to a place where males get completely naked and their reaction is like, oh, oh my God, now they're naked. So it's more... But you don't know that some men don't react like that. <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. That's, you're, you've As got, an educated guess, Matthew. You've got prejudice. Um, go, yeah, I do. I and, do. And this world of equality? Yeah. Not, not so is that what you normally do? I so once they get to a certain point, do you say, put oh. it on, put it on, and you're asking them to put their clothes on? Is that what happens? No, not at all. I say, fellas, is everyone comfortable with this? I just <laughs> want to make sure that we're in a safe environment. And they say, no, yeah. we're not. I said, Can well, you please you leave? To leave. <laughs> <laughs> you're really bringing down the mood. I don't know. I just hope I didn't do anything wrong. By not uh, telling people, but that's silly. Hey, just letting you know, has everyone got the heads up that they feel comfortable? I guess. I, I mean, know. the other thing is that they could leave at that time. Correct. True. They could if they wanted you to lock the doors on them or anything. Yeah. You're all trapped in here with me. <laughs> <laughs> but Mel in Springfield Lakes, what do you think about adult entertainment? Do you think you have to tell people so they know what's going on? Well, I, I think it depends on how long you've been with your partner for. Mm-hmm. I mean, my husband and I have been married for 27 years. And when we first got together, I'm like, nope, definitely you're not going to that. That's not appropriate. Whereas now I'm just like, meh. Have yeah. fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're happy to lose it, like, it now, Mel. You know? No, I think it's just you're more secure now. I don't know. I feel That's like right. there was a lot more jealousy at the start, but then you know your partner, you know your, your limits, you both. Yeah. Mm. But there's a huge difference between a male stripper and a female stripper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one's so glaringly the obvious females, one. <laughs> yes, yes. One has two private parts. The other one has the one. But <laughs> when, when women go to see entertainment they go there for the dancing they go there for the music they want to see that yes the boys don't necessarily take off their bottoms to show everything Mm. yep whereas women strippers their girls are there Mm -hmm. and that's what the boys go to see the girl boys want to go see those girls Mm. and see them moving Mm. on the girls so yeah i think there's a big difference between a male stripper and a female stripper right so your husband's allowed to go to see male strippers? If you want. Yeah. <laughs> do you think the other take thing me, is with the, <laughs> with the age thing, do you think it's like because back in those days you were young enough to be a stripper but you're not and now you're like, nah, I can't compete with that. Where you go. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 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 I think it's good to know purely for those who are in relationships where they might get in trouble because mm. I would never want anyone – like that to dampen the night. You know what I mean? Like, I think if mm-hmm. everyone just knows, then it's a choice. You yeah. can tell your partner what you do then is totally up to you. There were two yeah, girls. in your court now. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. There were yeah. two girls that missed it. Why? And that's like, well, because we were leaving the lunch and we said to people, go and freshen up, do whatever you want, and then meet for a drink. So they actually missed it. So they were like, can we start again? Can we again? bring it back? <laughs> can we go <laughs> again? Like, no, oh, no, no. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, an anonymous caller here. Hello. Hello, how are you guys? Good. What, what do you think about this? Do you have to tell people that there's going to be going to be rippers? Um, I personally don't have an opinion, but my girlfriend, who was a bridesmaid for, mm. had a very big opinion on this, where she made it very clear to all of us girls that if her fiance a week before at his buck, mm. a week before the wedding, if he had a stripper come, she mm. would not marry him. Wow. Okay, so she was like, I can't do the same then. I, like, I can't yep. have one, yeah. right? So that's why she was really yep. scared that you guys would organise a surprise. Yeah, because she'd done the old threat on him to mm. say, I won't marry you if you do this. So if us girls got her one, nah. yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, see, I um, organised my mate's Bucks party many years ago and I checked that everyone wanted one yep. and I booked one. And then a couple of days before, the lady rang to confirm and I had accidentally... <laughs> booked a step further. So you were like, oh. Where they were. Accidentally. <laughs> That's so women, women of the night. Yeah. And they said, bring cash. <laughs> and I went, I think I've done the wrong thing So did thing you cancel here. it or did you It was the greatest it? Bucks night ever. Yeah. <laughs> no, I rang her back and said that the Bucks night had been cancelled. So we no longer needed them. Oh. Because <laughs> the, I didn't want. Any... You didn't want to get, you know, especially no when way. you're the organiser. Because I, my, my yeah. friend was Still really. Still booked her for a private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my friend had, was really concerned about female strippers yeah. at her fiance's bucks. And she was really upset about it. It turned into tears. And yeah. I was like, what are you so upset about? She goes, I don't know what they do. I said, what do you mean? She goes, well, I've never been to one. So I, great idea, thought it would be a good idea for us to go uh-huh. to see what it was like. 
so she wouldn't get upset. Most expensive burgers we've ever bought, by the way, mm. at this place. Mm. But then we ended up going home and he was like, wait a minute. So I didn't go, yeah. but you girls went mm. to the, yeah, but like, we're like, it was the girl one, so. You missed out. It was really good. <laughs> so, well, you've learnt a few things. What's yeah. stopping you? <laughs> the B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Maddie's just gone on board over the weekend. He caught up on Baby Reindeer that we've uh, been watching. Mm-hmm. And it's a phenomenal show in the complexities it shows about stalking. Mm-hmm. And it's a real life story, or so they say. Is it or is it not? Uh, Richard Gadd, who is the star of it and also wrote it, he's been doing a play on it about a real-life uh, stalking situation. Mm-hmm. Now it's been made into a Netflix show. I, everyone on the internet has been trying to track down who the real Martha was. Yep. They said that they had found it. And then um, just on Friday, Piers Morgan did an interview with her. Her name is Fiona Harvey. Here is some of the actual show, just to show you how... Insane it is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, my stalker. Say hello to Martha. Don't you say that to me. Apologise to me right now. Look, Martha, just go back home. I have a sneaky feeling you might be the death of me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Could also be married at first sight by the sounds it's of that. Sure, not far off. Mm. Mm. But then when they had her on as well, Netflix has come out and they actually had to speak to UK Parliament and said that they had taken every reasonable precaution in disguising the real-life identities of people involved in this story. So they can prove that they tried to dif- differate, mm-hmm. uh, differentiate and, and say it, but everyone was like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> it took us 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. 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 Mm. So it's interesting to see. I mean, she did the interview and said that she is going to sue, whether she When can. you make such an emphatic denial of the mm. central point of the story, mm. you're basically accusing both him but also Netflix of lying about it. I am. And that's, that's pretty defamatory. It's not defamatory if it's true. No, no, it's defamatory that they've been to oh, you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I misunderstood there. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I don't see how anyone could do 41,000 emails and all this kind of stuff, you know. Mm. Mm. It is interesting because uh, Richard Gadd has come out and said, look, hey, please don't try and track down yeah. the real people. Don't try and find the identity of the people involved. Everyone was like, well, that's a little bit silly because we watch TV shows these days with our phone mm. in hand. Mm. As soon as you know it's a true story, you want to track it down. But we just wanted to find out, I guess, with body language expert, is she lying about what she said to Piers Morgan. Now, David Stevens is on. He is a body language expert. You watched that uh, interview. Is she is yeah. she guilty or not, mate? Tell us straight up. <laughs> yeah, good morning. And uh, it's a fascinating case. There are a lot of uh, a lot of body language signals and language things that uh, we watch and, uh, and do tell us a different story to uh, the one that she is saying. Um, so... Uh, yeah. What are the key indicators that you're looking for? Because I always think as soon as someone's got a dry mouth, then you kind of go, okay, something's going on. But that could also be because she's incredibly nervous. She's on live TV that's going all over the world. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a lot of miss out there in terms of uh, what people think is, uh, is indicative of lying. So someone might think that if uh, people are looking away, mm. that might be uh, a key sign of uh, what it means to be lying. But that's that's absolutely not true. People look away for a whole lot of reasons Maybe it's an authority figure. Maybe there's, uh, you know, they're, uh, you know, they're they're worried about being accused falsely. So there's yeah. a whole lot of reasons to meet people might uh, uh, be worried. But in this particular case, there are a number of clues around some of the key aspects of what she's talking about, mm-hmm. especially the number of emails that she might have sent, um, which uh, which don't add up. So. Things like um, there is some eye blocking and eye flutter. That's where the eyelids flutter very quickly around some key points where she's really cognitively struggling to uh, to sort of stick to her story. Um, and there is also a lot of language indicators in this. Um, and things change. You know, she starts by saying that they were good friends, but later on she says they're not friends at all. Uh. She talks about only meeting two or three times. Later on in the story, she changes that to five or six times. So there are... There are a lot of those inconsistencies, and when we're doing lie detection, we're looking for those inconsistencies in stories and body language that could indicate that something's not quite right, and you see a lot of that in this interview. Is it a bit harder with her, though? Because I think what a lot of people are forgetting is she is mentally disturbed, and she may believe her lies to that that point, Mm. because when you see the show, she she is... I, I was actually surprised that Piers would do an interview with her because yeah, she's almost Morgan. of diminished capacity. I know, I know. But is it hard to yeah. tell 
when someone isn't aware if they're lying, I guess is the, the way to put it. And, and you, you always have to take into uh, consideration sort of context and baseline. So what what is this person's normal baseline? Now, we, 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 we see a little bit of that with the pleasantries, but, you know, I haven't got any other footage of her. And if I was doing an in-depth analysis of someone, I, I would always try to look for as much of what they're like normally. normally yeah. And, and, yeah, absolutely. You've got to take into consideration that there may be some, uh, some mental health issues here. Um, but, you know, as you see it, and she almost... And I think Pierce does an excellent uh, job in interviewing her because he picks up on some of the inconsistencies, especially as she backtracks and says, you know, things like, um, you know, well, if possibly if there were those emails, that doesn't matter because I didn't do these other things. So there's a lot of points like that where which make her a very unreliable witness is how I would uh, I would put it. Mm -hmm. And that if I was an investigator, I would be circling back to those things. And I think it is highly likely, let's put it this way, that I don't know if it's 41,000 emails, but that she has sent a lot more emails than she Than what she uh, said, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, I I put money on that one. When you say that you need to get a baseline first, Mm -hmm. is there people, I guess, that can beat the system of a lie detector or a body language expert and you just change your baseline with the first questions that you ask? Look. There are some really good lies out there. Mm. Absolutely, there are people that in and, Parliament. And am I going, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I live in Canberra, so you, oh, you okay, know, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, to, uh, to see some of that. But uh, but the eye, the eye one, for example. So really good lies actually know that most people yeah. think that people you know think that if you look away, you'd be a liar. So what pe- really good lies do is they'll actually hold your eye contact. Mm. Number one, because they know the myth and they don't want to be sort of caught up in that. But number two, they're also looking for your response. They're looking, am I being believed? Do I need to change oh, my story? Yeah, right. So really good lies um, are good at some of these things. But, you know, and, and as I say, and all this sort of thing, you know, body language is great, statement analysis, you know, understanding the words and the language. It, it should all point you to asking better questions. And, uh, you know, I think that's what Pierce did here. He, he sort of picked up on a few of these things and did ask more questions circling back around, especially around the emails and, well, and trying to get her to concede some of those points. So, Looking forward to seeing this one play out, David. I think it's going to mm. be pretty wild to watch. We appreciate uh, your full analysis on that one. Uh, so it's looking like <clears throat> she did do it. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Luxurious hotel accommodation, a world-class casino, live entertainment, dining and bars all in one place. Book your starcation at the Star Gold Coast now. Thestar.com.au Abby's Long Lunch. The Star was amazing. It's so good down there. Last time I went there, we went with you guys. It was a family affair. This time we went, no families. We'll just take some mothers to celebrate Mother's Day early. Went down to Kiomi, which is amazing. Can confirm it wasn't a secret. It is going to open here in Brisbane as well. Ah, lovely. Mm-hmm. So we can do it all again. No, we're not. I'm retiring because I was a little bit happy. I just want to state, I don't really want to talk about this. However, mm. I would like to clarify because I did not realise, I couldn't remember because I was so excited that I'd text Tommy Little at a certain time in the night and because we spoke about it on air, my husband was like, why were you trying to pick up Tommy Little? And I went, What? Because why were you trying to do that? I'm like, he's not your type. Baby, why would I do that? I wasn't trying to do that. So I want to clarify that when I said that I text him late at night, it was to try and hook up. With him. Jess. Oh. Jess, Jess. our brands manager. I tried to hook up her with Tommy Little. Was Scotty angry when he brought it up with you? No. No. Which really is like. No, he was thinking. Do I now have a free pass? I know, he wasn't. Maybe this is... I have a nasty. Can I text Tommy Little? Yeah. <laughs> here was your... Lovely okay, guy, this is you but... the day after, right? We've got to, uh, we've got to relive the whole thing. Just yeah. So if we're here, we're here. Uh-huh. This was the demons setting in um, the next day when you looked in your messages. You Realised what you done did. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I sent a text to Tommy Little. I know. Yeah. <laughs> No. Oh, my God. Did he write that? No, and I just deleted it. Oh, my God, Abby. (laughs) Why were you recording that? I I wasn't. Who recorded that? Uh, Mm. Ash did. Ash (laughs) was on it. (laughs) 
<laughs> Ash, you were there. I know, but I like to record everything for future purposes. Can we just get, like, I do feel bad. He hasn't written back. He won't even come on the show. Is he bad? Can I just say? Yeah. So since I can throw everyone in it. Ash went to go and text him, right, to see if he would come on the show. The last text that she said was like, hey, your comedy night is sold out. But do you mind if I get tickets? Oh, so he's blocked you all. Oh. He's blocked us all. Oh, look at him. He's like the first. That was, that was last year. That wasn't this year. Yeah, yeah. but you still <laughs> went to see him on Friday night, didn't you? <coughs> I know, and this is so weird, but yesterday I actually drove past him. He was running in the valley. Oh, my God. But oh, how thirsty, thirsty are you? I know. Really? We're not. We were trying to set him up because... I don't know. It's limited to how many people we can find that are single men these days. Now, you didn't just text him. I sent him a video, but let's move on. Can we? Okay, so um, <laughs> Jess is really upset because she yeah. feels like she's such a nerd. I am. I'm a nerd. Yeah, I have a gamble. Give me my gammon little coin. Guys, let's get a um, corporate coach. She's working late because <laughs> she's a <laughs> singer. <laughs> Yeah, I'd get straight back to that message too, <laughs> yeah. wouldn't you? Do you guys know what that's in reference to? I kept seeing that throughout the night. It's Sabrina Carpenter's song, you know, and she's yeah, like, that makes yeah, that yeah, yeah. All that up. Well, yeah. I don't yeah. know, Stav. Yeah, it's fine now. So you, you girls thought if we send him this video, he is going to ring straight back and be like, Jess, would you like to I don't to know what the message was that I actually sent either because I sent words with it. I, 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 I didn't see it, but I'm going to guess it said... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh. Do you guys ever do that embarrassing things? You've grown out of it. Yeah, I would have thought I'd grown out of it as well. Uh, not too late. It, it'd be you text other blokes. Mm. Yeah, but I, not I, really. I went through that phase of texting celebrities, DMing them on Instagram. See, yeah. Yeah. But yours is Kermit the Frog. He can't hear. He can no. hear, but the hand can text back. Yeah. And he didn't know. Mm. No, he didn't. One of the directors did. We were going to get him on, and That's then right. lockdown That's happened. Right. Oh, yeah. How many people did you? Oh, yeah. heaps. Yeah. Every time I watched a movie, I really liked it. I'd go, that was a really good movie, buddy. Yeah, but yeah, it was never like, it was never creepy stuff. No. It was always just like you were, yeah. it was. Oh, I yeah. did do that to Elsa, um, Chris Hemsworth's wife. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jess, the mess is there, the single girl who you were trying to hook up. Jess, hello. Oh, hello. Good morning. I don't, know, you why we, I don't know why we thought that was a good idea, Jess. Look, I just wish you didn't delete the messages. I want to know exactly what was sent because it's also not that great for me, Abby. <laughs> mm. Mm. You tried to message him again on the weekend. Oh, gosh, no. Well, yes. yes. <laughs> only, to, only to apologise on behalf of you. Oh, come on. <laughs> sorry for reaching out. I just want to apologise for my friend, Abby. Yeah, I was like, I'm so sorry about that. But um, no, I can confirm that there has been not a word back, and I, I'm sure it's just lost in a sea of DMs from, mm. you know, all sorts of desperate women like myself. <laughs> we didn't DM him, though. We sent him a text, so he definitely got it. Not Gone are the days where you're like, did you not? Oh, you didn't, oh, I didn't get your text. Really? Oh, I didn't yeah. get it. Like, though, no, that's a lie. Yeah. Hey, let's try and make you feel better, though, ladies. Mm. Did you text someone under the influence? Mm. Who was it? What did you say? 13, 10, 60. Uh, and are you married now? Just give them some hope. That's a really good <laughs> that point, That is a really Steph. good point. Because yeah, sometimes point. you go, I've got a crush on someone. I'm not going to tell them until I'm around with the girls. And they've encouraged me and told me it was a great idea. So join in, make the girls feel better. And then after you've made them feel better, um, at the end of that, We've also found the setting on how to look at your recently deleted text messages, mm. so we will read out the ones that were deleted no. too. No! So we're going to have no. a whole gamut of emotions. <laughs> Georgina from Oxley. Yeah, hello. Um, hello. Everyone feel free to join in here. Uh, who did you Who did you text under the influence? Um, my now husband. <laughs> See? That's good. So did you obviously have his details, but you're like, oh, i got a crush on him, not going to tell him until now? Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't even talk to him. I had a massive crush, right. and so got home after Friday night drinks, and my friend took my phone and texted him for me. Ah, uh, <laughs> classic. That's what I did. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't do it. No, no, right. no. But what did he like? That that would have been nerve wracking waiting for a reply. Well, yeah, we all had a big squeal, yeah. waited, and then yeah, it wasn't too long after. Like I honestly just said, "Do you want to catch up for a coffee?" Mm. Um, because. Yeah, it was yeah. probably best to meet Soda. Mm, um, yeah. And then... And so how long yeah. do you reckon before he, he texted back? Uh, it was like an hour, so yeah. So he not, was, just clarifying, not four days. <laughs> it wasn't the three-day rule. Yeah, no, 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 no rule. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. How so did that you... whole thing, if they're keen, they yeah. are. Yeah. How did you know him before, though? Uh, we met through mutual friends, so we were living okay. in the UK. So it wasn't like and a work then... work colleague or anything like that? Oh, he, God, he was no, a sponsor. No, I've been there. We've d- no, no, no. Won't be doing that again. <laughs> Won't be doing that again. <laughs> no, well, no. <laughs> See, no one wants well, to... Well, not now, obviously. No, obviously. No, no, no. Because, obviously. No, no one wants to share their shameful stories. That's Ooh. it. They're all positive, they're all are they? Yeah, because they're just cringe. You know when you wake up... I don't know if you guys do it. When you wake up at one in the morning and you re like go over mm. a conversation that you had yeah. and you're like, I should have said this, but then I said that. And then you just go into this cringe mm. wormhole. Oh, no, I go, I was really good last night. Wow. Do you? Banter. Yeah. Do you really? really? That's really funny what I said to that guy. <laughs> Let's do that all again. <laughs> what? Why hasn't he texted me back? It's been three it's days. It's been three days. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy! The B105 <laughs> Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. <laughs> Mother's Day yesterday, and I was a bit nervous how it was going to finish. God, it was epic in our house because my parents were up from Adelaide. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mum has come up uh, to help out a bit, and uh, she brought Dad, so one extra kid to look after. Uh, But it has been fun. It has been fun. But the reason it was so epic is because Adelaide Crows, that's what half of my family support, Mm. and the other half are Brisbane Lions. (laughs) They were playing each other last night. Yeah, they were. Oh, my God. God. The amount of yelling in my household. And the whole time, my mum was just like, I just hope for a draw. I just hope for a draw so no one's upset. And we're and like, Everyone will be upset. I know. That's what we were saying. She's like, just hope for a draw. Hope for a draw. Guess what happened? It was Not, a draw. 90 all. Was it? I yeah. missed that. Yes. Yeah. It was a draw. We Which couldn't believe it. Very often, does it? Doesn't. We were looking no. at her and she's like, who gets the points? And we're like, well, everyone gets two each, but it's not the point. No one wanted to draw. Mm. And there's no golden point in AFL, is there? There's that, only with the grand that. final, they have announced mm. that there will be extra time. Remember what happened with that draw? Yeah. yeah. But for any other games, then no, a draw is a draw. And everyone just looks shattered. Yeah. No one was happy. Did no. your mum start manifesting other stuff, though? She obviously had a power. That's a good point, Steph. I really should. What a million dollars. It was just at the start. No, she doesn't use it for good. She just uses it for other stuff. But we went to Gambaro's and (laughs) we were there having lunch and it was really amazing. And then Channel 9 came in to do what, you know, what's everyone's doing for Mother's Day. And I know Mm. Claire, the reporter, so she looked at me because if you're a reporter, and you know this yourself, Mm. if you're a reporter and you've got to go in and disturb people having lunch, you want to disturb people you know. Yeah. Mm. Right? So she'd done the rounds for it and she kept going, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, you're not. Mm. Bless your heart. You're not. So she's like, we just want to ask about, you know, Mother's Day. So I just said that it was really special. This was it. Restaurants fully booked. Gambaro's seating 350 customers across its venues for multi-generational lunches. But my mum's actually up from Adelaide, so we wanted to do something a little bit special. I did go on to say, because there's no way I'm bloody cooking, but she cut that out. She but did? The, yeah. Mm. Did she shout your lunch at least? I feel like if she's going to make it no work on Mother's No reporters don't Day, do that. Well, it wasn't working. She was working. She should have given you a 50 or yeah. something. Paid off her informant. Yeah. yeah. When do reporters pay for people on their, uh, on about, but this is my All biggest. All the time in the movies. Yeah. I yeah. had to say to the person filming though, because I was like, dad, why are we, and I, I was a bit nervous because they've got to come out and they've got to get like B-roll, you know, and they get like yeah. happy people having. Yeah. Lunch and he came over. Pretend and goes, you like each other, everyone. So he said, he goes, just pretend that I'm not here. And my dad, my dad goes, what? So I don't look at the camera. And it's like, no, dad, you don't look at the camera. <laughs> so then he has to lead the conversation of like just a happy conversation. Mm. And if you guys met my dad, he's quite serious. Yeah. Mm. The first time I heard him laugh was when we were about nine and we freaked out because we didn't know what was happening to dad and was in planes, <laughs> trains and automobiles. Yeah. He loved to see him that. So he's like, oh, let's do a happy conversation as they're filming us going around. And I had to stop at one point and said, I'm so sorry, Mm -hmm. is this audio going? And he's like, no, 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 no. It will be like background noise. I'm like, no, 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 I don't want it. Because his happy conversation is, right, kids, so when I die, let's talk about ashes. And I was like, (laughs) are you for real? We're at a Mother's Day lunch. They're getting footage Mm -hmm. for the TV, Mm -hmm. and that's the happy conversation that he could come up with. Did you smile? Did you look happy? Because I had to, because they were <laughs> filming. Monster. And then all the kids sort of, you know, were like, oh, okay. And he goes, just don't pay for it. I don't want to pay for it. Yeah. Just gather it wherever you want. Just don't pay for it. I'm like, I wonder oh if the God. reporter went back and like, looked through the footage and now tonight on Channel 9 it's like, Abby Coleman, radio personality, scoffs at her father as he goes through his funeral yes. details. <laughs> <laughs> and where, where did you land? Where, where does he want to be scattered? At the lighthouse. What lighthouse? My parents live next to a lighthouse. Oh. It's, not, it's not you functioning anymore, I don't think. But they. Well, neither is he. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
fitting. <laughs> the B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Alpha Bucks tomorrow. It'll be the 14th of May. Uh, $20,000 is on the line every time we play at 7 and 8 a.m. 7 a.m. Your letter is N and some of your answers are Needles, Nigella Lawson and Netherlands. Eight is P, and some of your answers are Poland, Panadol, and Prom Night. Right up. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Stab, Abby, and Matt, the B105 Breakfast Show.